Good morning in the Bear household. We've got Roman helping mommy do drop biscuits that we always do. So we're gonna add milk, needs a little bit more. We've got Michael, which daddy's been with him. He is scrambling eggs. Behind us we have sausage going. In the oven we have, what, what's in the oven? Um, your okay. egg bites. Like egg bites, yeah. And, uh-oh. Anyways, we're getting ready to have breakfast and then we're gonna sit and probably listen to our church yeah. online today. We have, some kids don't feel too good, so we're gonna skip out on going physically. You're doing good, Mikey. Hold on, Mommy. All right, here's how the egg bite things turned out. Are these ones the one you made for me? Yeah. That looks pretty good. We're trying to be like Starbucks. Uh-oh, Ellie, you talk nice. Please pass me the hot sauce. Hey, buddy. Yes, I will. Bella, since you're close to my temple, I'll Okay. Man, I'll so I didn't vlog everything. I've had a lot on my mind and I'm about to tell you why. So today we had our breakfast. We watched church online because like I said, some of the kids didn't feel too good. And I just, I don't want to pass anything around. And definitely when they're under the weather, we don't want anything else either. So thank God we have like Facebook live and our church goes live. And so two kids, actually Whitney and Kennedy went to church and the rest of us just stayed at home and listened in. So that was nice. Um, we had a big breakfast like you saw and then we kind of relaxed for a while and then Steven and I went to Sam's. We were out of like necessity things, trash bags and I've had this like thing hit me where I want to like label and get my life organized, okay? And so there's something that I have known about now for seven Anyways. days. As I was saying, I had Bella come in and talk to her real quick. So... As you all have maybe known, maybe some of you don't know because maybe some of you are new. After I had Ellie, we had a few losses, like early losses. Then I had I added him to the video. He just happened to walk in. Okay. He got added. He got added. So we had a few early losses that I would take a few tests and they would just barely be there and be gone. And then we had one in October that was a real deal like nine week loss and that was really sad. And so it's been a hard year on everyone, right? Mm -hmm. But we just kind of gave it to God and just said, okay, Lord, here you are. If you really want someone to be here, um, they will be here. And so we have some news. Can they see? I don't know. There's two lines there. We are this pregnant. Is, this is actually kind of weird. It okay. feels like, a, I feel like I have a lightsaber. Can you see? Yeah, you yeah, can, they can, can see. see All right. Anyways, we're pregnant. Well, I'm not, she is. Well, we say we because we're having another child. Oh. Anyway, so we appreciate your prayers. Um, it is looking really good though. The last baby, it's HCG, which is something they measure in your blood. It never really doubled that fast. So from the beginning, we were kind of anxious and nervous about something going on and something not being right. Do you remember that? Yes. Okay. So this one, more than doubled, it doubled very, very quickly. So everything's looking good and yeah, that's our exciting news. So God willing, we'll have number 10 in probably October. Probably. We'll keep you updated Maybe. on everything, hopefully. All right, so it's evening time. The big kids went to youth group. They have classes on Sunday night and we just spend time together here at the house because, you know, Steve's gone all the time. I am making uh, chili, very simple. Got some hamburger, three pounds of organic hamburger that I have browned. And I'm working on finishing up. I don't like any pink, nasty, nasty. And then I've got, I've got to clean the tops of the, of the cans. But over there you can see I have got, I think five cans of beans. I've got some Rotel, handsome husband in the background. Um, tomato sauce, sometimes I usually always do tomato paste, but 
I'm trying to go through my cans and use. Are you gonna be my Vanna White? I'm trying to go through my cans. I can't be, I cannot be serious. I'm a crab. You are a crab. Okay, anyways, I'm um, trying to go through my cans like I was saying and sort of use the things that are, they're not even close to expiring, but getting, eating those so that way when I buy new things, I can kind of move those to the back of the pantry, if that makes any sense. So the tomato sauce, when does it expire? I don't have my apron on here, I better put it on. Does it say when it expires? Yeah. Oh, it, if, <laughs> see I did this wisely. Gosh, when we bought that, we didn't buy this very long ago. It expires on her 20th anniversary. Really? February 22nd. I don't know if you can see that, 2023. Okay, that was smart. This is like God, like, don't let your food go bad. Which in all reality, they say that to cover their butts, but stuff in cans usually last longer, usually. So, anyways, I'm going to be doing that. Hopefully, Stephen can handle the Rotel because he hates tomatoes. Can you handle Rotel in your chili? Might as well now. You've already put it in there, right? No, I haven't done it yet. Yeah, I guess. Why not? <laughs> I love chili with tomatoes. And for 20 years now, I have personally not put them in there hardly ever to make him happy. But every now and then, I just want chili with just... If I could make it the way I wanted, it would have like the stewed tomatoes, a big old huge chunks of tomatoes in a can. Oh my gosh. In fact, I really could like separately make myself a small batch of that and then like do the most insane hot heat imaginable to where like you can't even taste it it's so hot are you having fun yeah. <laughs> anyways i don't know and that's another pan to dirty so i'll probably just eat what we have and sprinkle some extra pepper flakes in it and call it a day right, so the chili was good I ate too much and now my stomach's like, Bleh. I'm going to have to really watch what I do and eat. Seriously. I'm going to have to watch this so I don't turn into a blimp. Um, doing laundry. I've been putting a bunch away. Here's my whole thing. I keep putting them. Oh, if that didn't make sense. I grab them when I get a bunch done, like a bunch of pink hangers done or whatever. And then I go put them over there where they go. So it's I'm trying to get my laundry caught up before the week starts because tomorrow's Monday and I need to get our school stuff and our schedule and our life, um, you know, back on track. So anyways, that's what's going on. Steven and the kids, it's just been a relaxing day. I mean, we haven't really done anything in particular, which is nice. So nice. January is the month that I decided to focus on my family and the things that I used to do well, like making meals. I'm not bragging on myself. I'm just saying like, I used to enjoy it you know if you enjoy something usually you'll do it well right and like truly having my heart towards my family I got so busy that that kind of got taken away or I allowed it to be taken away whatever so and I'm also out of breath ever since I just like literally this week I'm already out of breath which is insane um I think that means low iron or something I need to look into that but anyways so Getting all of this done, as you can see, organizing, doing all that great fun. Uh, I'm getting ready to put my pajamas on and settle down, get in my bed, get comfortable. I do have to take the rest of my supplements. I take, oh, by the way, I just want to tell you guys, I had a really bad, I didn't tell you all this. My thyroid a year ago was swollen so bad. I had to have extra, or not x-rays. I had to have a, and I know this lighting in this room is so bright I look weird, but just ignore it. Um... So, my thyroid was big. It had a goiter, which means a swollen, enlarged thyroid. I felt bad for the last several years. I had so many things that was happening to me. The miscarriages, just so many things. And last May, I started on something called... Well, here's a long... Here, I'll make the long story short. Okay? I have a friend who suffered greatly. I have loud kids in the background. I'm really sorry. But I had a friend who suffered greatly and couldn't hardly eat foods. And she was just miserable and... I would hear her talking about it on Facebook. Well, then I took a, a social media break and I hadn't heard from her in a long time because I was not getting on Facebook. Well, I got get on there and she's like healthy and vibrant and like she's great. Well, she tells me about these products that she found and I'm like, you know, like I'm sure that they're probably good, but 
I looked at the price tag. It was kind of high. It is high if you order all of the stuff, which I talked to her and she's like, you really don't need all of these things. You really need these two main things. So I took a, you know, I didn't take a break, but I didn't buy anything. And then finally, April, May last year, I was like, I had another loss and I was just like, I got to do something. Like I got to do something. My health is not going well and my thyroid's having all these issues. Like, what am I going to do? So I asked Steven, I said, can I please just order these products? And let me go over here. It just looks so bright. It's a little bit better. Yes. So I asked Steven, I'm like, can I order these products? Blah, blah, blah. And he's like, yeah. I mean, what do you have to lose? Just if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So ever since May, I've been taking this shake once a day. It's improved. I can't even tell you how many things it has done for my body. And I take two pills called Biomedic. Anyways, it's changed my life. Clearly, like I'm now with child, praise the Lord. And it's sticking and it's growing and doing healthy, good things. So that's good, right? Um, so I just wanted to share that. I'm not trying to like sell it. Just being completely honest with you, I trust in God and my husband to be able to... Okay, anyways, the kids are getting in trouble. Um, so I trust in God and my husband. I do not... Like, I made $18 one time when someone bought them. So, it's not like, it's not a big deal to me, okay? I'm telling you this stuff works, though, for so many different things. The lady above me who sells the stuff, her name is Heather. And she was debilitated. She was, like, wheelchair mode, like, disabled. And just last week, she posted a picture of her line dancing. She's been on it. It took her three years to get to this point. But I don't know. It's just like the greens. It pulls out the toxins. I'm not a doctor. I'm just saying this is what it's done for me. And then the pills are known to remove glyphosate. I think is how you pronounce it. It's the stuff that's sprayed on all the crops. Like Monsanto, Agent Orange. Bet you didn't know that. Agent Orange and Monsanto and Roundup is the same thing. Yeah, so the stuff they sprayed in... I guess it's... Is it Vietnam? Um that they did it to kill all the vegetation so they could see the people um that caused so many problems with the people and caused so many deformities and to this day causes or is linked to like cancers and just tons and tons of stuff and it's in our food it's like everywhere the pills that i take slowly and gently removes that out of your body so i'm just telling you it's made me feel amazing so i gotta go take my shake even my kids get the green shake they call it their hulk shake or their Shrek shake because it's green and they take it. I give it to them a lot and it's good for them. It's healthy. And so they're doing great. So anyways, I'm going to get them ready for bed. 14, 28, 29. And Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you command me to come to you on the water, he said, come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and came to Jesus. Well, I mean, I know it's true. That's it. She's telling you the passage. Uh, Did it come off up? Okay. Jesus' mother was Sahari. No. <laughs> False. Very False. good. Matthew 1 16. And Jacob, the father of Joseph and the husband of Mary, of whom Jesus was born, who is called Christ. That's Matthew 1 16. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ready? Everyone should know this one. I want Michael to answer this. All right. Hang on, Mike. Michael, this is yours. Jesus was stoned to death. No. Very good. That was easy. Please leave it alone. Matthew 27, 26. Basically, basically what they did was, is who knows? So who knows what... The emperor did whenever Jesus got up there. Uh, there was two people standing there, right? Huh? There was two people standing there, correct? One was a what? Woman. No. What did this guy do? This guy was a what? No. A murderer? He was a murderer, right? And a thief and a, and a bad person, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Right. But they said that Jesus needed to die more than this guy, right? So they let him go. And they sentenced Jesus to what? Heaven. 
How did Jesus die? Then. Um, uh, on the cross. Crucifixion. Okay. Crucified. Bella, Jesus was born in a manger. Uh, true or false? True. It's Bella's turn. True. Uh, okay. True it is. Luke 2 7. She gave birth to her. She gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in a swaddling cloth, and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the end. In in. Yes. Yes. No. Very good, Roman Allen. <laughs> no. Weren't you guys hunting for him? Wait, did John you eleven. Guys? John eleven forty three and forty four. When he had said, I can't talk about you. Excuse me. <laughs> when he had said these things, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The man who had died, come out. Peter betrayed Jesus with a kiss. True. 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 Okay. False. Bella, you would be correct. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Wait, Bella said she was kidding. Luke twenty two forty eight. But Jesus said to him, oh. Judas, Judas would betray the Son of Man with a kiss. Mm -hmm. Judas, remember? He sold Jesus for what? For money. Right? Silver. Money. Silver, right? Riches. But how did he tell them that he would mark who Jesus was? The mark of the beast. No. <laughs> <laughs> Noah. Noah in the ark. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. Did you know that you're either going to be a big sister or a big brother? Well, she's not going to be I mean, a big brother. You're either going to have a little brother or a little sister. There's a baby in Dude. mommy's tummy. Look, there's a baby in mom's tummy. I'm getting off this room. Are you going to love the new baby? I'm getting off the room. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so I've got my pajamas on. I'm ready for the bed. And I just wanted to kind of put this video out before I did the others. I am behind. Lots of things have happened. But I just wanted to ask for your prayers. And hopefully everything goes well. So I'll keep you guys updated on everything. I'm on progesterone and a whole lot of supplements that I'm taking that I feel is really helping. So anyways, I feel really good. Every now and then I'll feel nauseous, but that's probably, and I'm tired, extra tired. Um, so we've done, like throughout last week, we did some homeschool sitting around on my bed and um, they just came and brought their boxes up to me and I um, just went through their school with them that way or we went and just sat in the living room and you know read books and stuff like that together so just making do with how everything is going right now we're at Sunday night it's the start of a new week so I just thought I would let you all know now instead of make you wait forever and I guess I will see you guys on the next one do not fear for I am with you do not be afraid for I am your God I will strengthen you I will help you I will hold on to you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41, 10.